the Antichrist and the New World Order, they have long term plans. And um, you see now Turkey is uh, retaliating the bit is it against Syria. And I'm not sure if the Syrian government is really being the attack on um, Turkey. I don't see why they would do that. They're doing that is because the Antichrist will the rebels and the government. And they might have had some you know, rules or issues coming out in place and come out the TV and saying that, you know, this is what the government says she goes on. The start thing. And see, I don't mind to accept the Turkey into NATO. Um, you know, we're trying to avoid a war in Syria and, um, and Iran. Because this whole spring revolution is just about creating tearing up the Middle East and getting the West embroiled in it. And then Western societies will start having economic and other political problems, and then you'll have a more like a want, you know, uh, tyranny and autocracy, uh, you know, um, you know, authoritarian rule as opposed to democracy, capitalism in the first world. And um, this was a long term plan. I mean, the Antichrist and Satan, they were able to get the United Nations going, they were able to get Israel in the Middle East, um, they were able to get Turkey into um, NATO. So that uh, in trying to avoid it, now NATO is going to be committed to getting into Turk to, to Syria, which um, they are trying not to go directly, but here's an indirect thing. I think it's not too late to tell Turkey that you know the suspend your membership and, and throw me out to this organization because I mean this is a low level petty thing. We don't want to go into it, but he's getting into it, and uh, you know you can see the long term planning here because Turkey. Uh, Syria and Iran seem to be the mother of the battles in the Middle East. And as we know, that God is protecting these uh, Muslim people. He said it, that they're going to be indomitable and nobody uh, will find them friendly. It's going to be this conflict amongst them. So just leave them alone. They will not accept our democracy. They will not uh, accept our capitalism. Let them be. I mean, the, the terrorism thing that we have is simply because of Israel in the Middle East. I mean, this is how it started. And um, things continue to develop and get complex and so forth. Um, uh, you know, the, even with uh, Syria saying that they have um, chemical weapons, why would they say that? I mean, you keep that quite knowing that the U.S. and others are going to try to come in and so on. But there's a plan to get folks into there, and uh, it becomes such a stalemate and such a long term destroying the resources that we could have applied to creating jobs, uh, helping out businesses, and helping out people. Uh, it tied up over there. Um, jobs started to slip, not only because of the dynamics, but because of something that God is involved in there. You know, um, He's protecting these people, it seems. And uh, of course, democracy and capitalism work with God. In, in the invisible hand, in economics, is what well, guides the economy. It's not the president nor the um, feds, it's the invisible hand. It gives selected people. Who are diligent and so on, ideas, they go there and start businesses, start manufacturing different products, and it connects with the needs that people really have and uh, gives them, make them bullish on the economy and give them confidence and things looking up and those aspects that could make or break an economic recovery or the dynamism of, uh, you know, um, the type of news that need to be done to um, facilitate economic prowess and, and recovery and so on. And so um, I look at this thing and I'm saying like, why Turkey is going to press it? I mean, okay, they shot something, but you shoot off some, but you're sending your soldiers now into Syria. So what, what's going to happen? Would Syria continue fighting with the rebels or they have to come and fight with them and then the, the rebels are going to take over? <laughs> you know, this thing is so complex, but anyway, it's stupid because I don't think that the Russian rebel look at this thing with any confidence and say that, oh, this is what people that want democracy and capitalism. They can't handle it. I, mean, I told you guys, this is Antichrist and Satan strategy. So, get us, get us involved in something that is going to be very ugly. And um, there we go. So that, you know, you just got to watch it. Israel is already trying to get something going with, with Iran. So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, President Obama is doing his utmost to focus on the economy, and I guess NATO too is trying that. But here we have, you know, hands being forced. Uh, they're attacking the embassy and so on. And I know what is unique. Although going into Libya, it was a, a NATO thing. And yes, they were saying that America will need you to do the, this kind of your man's work. Uh, Obama said, I know you guys got stuff, and you can do it now. So, but 
uh, in the attack, they did not attack our uh, members of NATO embassies, they didn't attack the, the uh, Turkey embassy and Germany and England and all these people, the embassy straight went to the American embassy. So uh, the real enemy, it seems, is here that the Antichrist has is in America. And why? Simply because of the past, we have shown um, anti old Europe, pre Reformation type of Europe doesn't work, and um, so on. So the devil and the Antichrist hates us, and uh, he's trying to destroy us. Moreover, when, if America and the economy were to collapse, the whole world is over. Other parts of the world, their economies could collapse, and things will drag a little, but it won't be over. So they are looking for it. I said it this way. That uh, and I'm going to substitute Antichrist in the devil. They're going to come out saying peace and safety. And this is what I see is happening in the Middle East. The Pope down to uh, Syria and saying peace, you know, to Lebanon, peace, peace, peace. I, I wonder if he is trying to look pretty so that if things become very chaotic, um, folks are going to want to ask him to take over and do a caretaker government to the world. I mean, you can't win the Catholic Church. You're having so many problems over there. All uh, these gays, all these molesting kids, they got no money. I mean, how come he's not going to be able to fix the world's problems, which is going to be financially um, financial problems? Churches are closing up; they can't pay the um, abuse uh, toll, and so on. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but um, we got to be very careful. That I recommend we throw the Turkey out of NATO and um, tell these rebels. We got to tell them you got to follow the law. We are going to pressure the government in our way, with sanctions and other things. So. Do changes, but you're going to burn in your country and destroy it. And then you still, and then you want us to come in and help you. And then you're going to blame all the damage and everything on us. And then you want to attack our embassies and all that. So um, I think that they should really get rid of uh, Turkey and, and tell these other people to stay down and Israel also to, to mind their own business.